So, hey everyone, James from the Fit RV, and some of you may know we have a Lithionics battery powering our RV Lance. And since we're here in Florida for the Tampa RV Super Show, we thought we'd swing by Lithionics and see how the batteries are made. They are made here. Awesome. They're not imported. We actually have technicians. We make our own battery management system. We do assembly and testing. And the main thing is I want to thank you for taking the time to do the installation of the battery. Uh, we've been looking for a way to get the word out to people that they can actually run from lithium. Oh yeah. It's what we call AC quality power and a DC package. And most of our business is centered around getting rid of diesel emissions and noise. And so you are a pioneer and you're showing the way, <laughs> giving people that comfort margin that it is possible to do. So uh, you'll get to meet all of our employees and we'll show you all the equipment that we made your battery on today. All right, cool, let's get started. All right, very good. Let's go. Okay, see, it looks like you've got a pretty elaborate test bench set up here and I recognize that inverter and control panel. So what have we got going on here? Well, we have a lot of preparation work going on. Uh, we know that some customers aren't sure how much power they want. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the RV industry, we've developed what we call the plug and play system. Here is the battery management system, which is inside your battery. Right, it's external here. It's external here to have a common charge to and discharge from point. But these are connectors where somebody might say, hey, I want 200, 400, 600, 800, nice. any increment. But look at the installation, no tools, just plug and play. So pull it out, put it back in. So okay. we have the plug and play system to make our system modular. You don't have to buy connectors. You just buy the batteries, strap them down and connect them and you're good to go. Oh, so, now, I have a question about the, the external BMS. By having that, like you don't have to worry about keeping the batteries balanced between the two or like any sort of communication between the batteries. That's all handled there at one point. You don't have to like do anything manually like I'm gonna no. run off bank. No, a because day. because the batteries are in parallel, they're gonna naturally self balance. Okay. Within the battery, they're going to electronically balance by our proprietary optical cell to cell communication system. So it doesn't matter if you have an external BMS, you pay for that once. And in a larger coach, you can just add lower cost modules rather than buying one BMS and another BMS. Right. This, is, this is the plug and play system for expandability. Okay, this is the safety of our BMS. It's what we call a, a go, no-go system. So you have all these individual cells that have the authority to shut down the pack to post disconnect, the contactor in the system. Every one second, every cell has to report in, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And that's what you see. So if I pull his battery up, there'll be 50,000 measurement points. There'll be 50,000 lines of code. What does that mean? If one cell doesn't report in over the optical system, the default is to shut that system down. So Steve talked to you about how every battery is data logged, load test 100% to Every sure. single one that goes out, so like every single my one. battery, you guys tested it. Absolutely. We might have okay. two data logs, three data logs even. Okay. We're also checking for the thermal performance of the battery, the consistency of the conductors okay. between all the cells internal to the battery. So in this example, we had a battery where spot one is 94 degrees, spot two is one. 23 degrees, that's not normal, and spot 3 is 85. So we said, okay, what's going on here? We took this battery apart, and we had a fluke of a bolt that was like 50 thousandths longer than the rest of the bolts. So that was the cause. Even though we torqued this to spec, everything looks correctly uh, assembled, you find these kind of uh, abnormalities under load that you would never see with the naked eye. But, the, but that's internal to the battery. That's internal. not that's not something that's right. not that's independent of the installation because any Correct. number of things can go wrong when you install the battery. But Correct. Is, okay. But the fact that we're doing FLIR analysis on every battery under load shows you like our dedication quality. So on the day that you came, uh, unfortunately we don't have a lot of commercial batteries for say the yachting industry mm -hmm. or the amusement park industry. Um, we sell batteries for golf carts, we sell batteries for low-speed electric vehicles, but today these batteries are designed to operate in desert conditions and they're also designed to be redundant in the same way that our batteries have multiple microprocessors. Here these batteries are designed to take bullet shrapnel 
and continue to operate. It's a little less severe than a typical RV yeah, trip. Yeah, but, but we told you the story about <laughs> that one coach where the uh, aftermarket installer drilled into one of our batteries to put the alarm siren in right and our battery had a, a hole in it for a couple of years before it was discovered <laughs> any other battery would have caught on fire well thanks Steve for letting us come in and, yeah, and have a look around it's been very interesting so last question is how can people get a hold of these batteries you do you sell them online how does that work you know that's a hard decision for us to make do we e-commerce isn't an advanced powerful battery a battery that you should just let somebody click and buy. We feel as though we should work with the OEMs first. Now, we do sell to the public, but generally through professional installers. Okay. You were able to buy a battery from us because we trusted your installation abilities. So as we've developed our relationship with OEMs in the yachting industry and in the RV industry, now that there's demand for lithium powered, uh, you know, anti-idle, or anti-diesel type of advanced battery systems. We want to make the batteries not only fireproofed, but easy to install. And let's face it, a lot of these um, inverters that are already out there in the field, they're designed for lead acid batteries. Mm -hmm. And I've seen my own technicians take up to two hours to program one of these inverters to convert from lead acid to lithium. It's too much. So really as much as the consumers would love to have it, we really need the inverter makers to catch up in America. Some of the European inverters are already converting to lithium. Now we have Xantrex in the factory today, as you well know. Uh, everything has to be made easy for the consumer. So until we can do that, uh, we're just going to focus on getting OEM approvals. Okay. And then we'll get it to the aftermarket. And I think we'll be asking you for some support when we decide to go to the aftermarket. Yeah, I can say there's, there's definitely some design work that needs to happen on the front end before you can just buy absolutely. a battery and plug it in. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Steve. This is James from the Fit RV with Steve from Lithionics. See you later. Bye.